Funerals are important to Haitians. So important that when I visited the country in the aftermath of serious flooding, which had killed thousands, I heard of families mourning their missing relatives using stones in the ceremonies rather than bodies. It was the only way that they could begin to come to terms with the death of their loved ones. How many stone funerals must the people of Haiti be holding now? Many of the dead are not just victims of the earthquake. They are victims of a natural disaster exacerbated by poverty. The jerry-built shanty towns where so many Haitians live were no match for the quake. And while the presidential palace sags, the slums of Port-au-Prince are flattened. Even before the disaster, Haiti was struggling. One of the poorest countries on earth, it was struggling to survive on a daily basis, never mind deal with the impact of an earthquake. Haiti's poverty was overwhelming when I visited in August 2004 with the international development charity ActionAid. The country had been rocked by violent conflict and political unrest, and this came on top of a disastrous flooding that had hit earlier that year. I saw how once fertile farmland had become completely devastated by water, mud and rocks flowing down hillsides long stripped of protective forest cover. Poverty on this scale would have been difficult enough to see in Africa, never mind in the heart of the Caribbean. But it has been dwarfed by this earthquake. Tens of thousands killed and injured, homes destroyed, livelihoods shattered and vital services wiped out. I've watched the scale of the disaster unfold on television and the huge task faced by aid agencies as they try to reach out to those in need. The relief effort needed is huge. Aid is trickling through to Haiti, but the situation is so chaotic and transport links are so badly damaged that delivering aid is a serious challenge. Action Aid and other disaster emergency committee members will help to provide search and rescue medical care, food, clean water, temporary shelter and clothes. You're about to hear the words of the country director for Action Aid in Haiti, Jean-Claude Finulet, who's on the ground and spoke to me earlier. Uh, it's absolutely devastating. Um, it's, uh, it, it hurts. It, it hurts. It hurts really bad. And, uh, we just have to keep fighting and uh, we have to keep believing that what we're doing and what others are doing uh, are going to turn things around eventually. And uh, that's what we're doing. Uh, so we're distributing uh, uh, what's called a uh, plump peanut. It's a reinforced uh, iron and protein peanut butter um, specifically designed for undernourished children. So we've got 2,550 packs going out today and that should uh, into our DA, and that should help for a few people for today. Um, and we're just working on getting stock of uh, um, 20,000 uh, purification tablets, and we've uh, secured stocks of corn and flour, and we're trying to get uh, the logistics uh, uh, system uh, to be able to deliver that uh, within the next 24 hours. There, there are areas where there have been a few NGOs working, uh, mostly in bigger areas, but it's taking time for the relief operation. To be, to be widespread. We're, uh, we're, 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 we're organized and uh, everything's coming together. And uh, like I said, we started very small today, just reaching uh, about 2,500 people. Um, and we hope to be able to increase uh, massively that capacity over the next uh, next 24 to 48 hours. Uh, we've got 9,000 people that we're targeting uh, in this initial phase, and we hope to be able to double that within a week. Uh, so. We're, we're, we're confident in our, in our team, we're confident in our capacity to get, uh, to get uh, this stuff out now. Uh, and, uh, uh, and we're feeling a little bit better about the, the prospects. I'm really proud to have had the opportunity to go to Haiti. I fell in love with the place and its wonderful people. Despite being the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, it's also culturally one of the richest that I've ever been to. It is genuinely a jewel in the Caribbean. So much help is needed now. It really is a monumental task ahead of that country. Please continue to support the DEC appeal by calling 0370 6060 900.
that's 0370 6060 900 or going to the website at www.dec.org.uk. Thank you.